welcome to this edition of UBC's Next Big Thing. I'm Rosemary Jean Thompson. Today my guest is Dr. Shaharia Alam, Assistant Professor with the School of Engineering here at UBC's Okanagan campus. And he has done research around industrial waste recycling. Tell me a little bit about that. When I started in 2009 as an assistant professor here, I wanted to do work with some local industries and went to see like what are the challenges are and what are the problems, whether we, our expertise could help them mitigate those. In the Okanagan Valley, there are more than 40 composite manufacturing companies. They produce lots of fiberglass scrap, like about more than 1,000 metric tons, and they need to go to landfill, and they are not biodegradable. They have to pay environmental fees to dump it in, uh, at a distant long, uh, landfill. So we wanted to see like how we can utilize it. And also there is another problem uh, in the whole Canada, like 40% of Canadian civil infrastructure, they pass their service life and they need to be demolished uh, for new construction. And they produce lots of construction demolition And waste. where does that go? Where does that waste? They also need to go to the landfill. Okay. A major portion of it, about 50% is concrete. And that will actually take up huge amount of space into the landfill and they'll be just sitting there idly until they disintegrate. And so it doesn't break down no, concrete? No. Once it's concrete, it, exactly. it stays like that? Yes. So that takes a yeah, huge uh, hundred thousands of years. Wow. So what we wanted to do is we have two different ways and we want to see like how we can utilize it uh, and give it some values. We talked to some local industries like Forma Shape, they produce glass uh, fibers and they produce lots of waste. So that's definitely a concern for them. And uh, City of Kelowna, they administer the landfill, Glenmore mm -hmm. landfill. If we not utilize this uh, concrete waste, their space will be uh, very soon filled up. So that's also a concern. So what, were you, what did you do to bring uh, these two waste pieces together? We wanted to use it as an aggregate. It means for concrete, for producing new concrete. So you know concrete is made of cement, water, sand, and aggregate, coarse aggregate, which is gravel or stone chips, you can say. Right. So we wanted to replace that portion because that actually constitutes 70% of the whole volume. We want to replace it with uh, recycled concrete or fiberglass scrap. We cut them into small pieces and we broken the recycled concrete down into the pieces what uh, we should use for aggregates and then we replaced it. So we pre replaced separately as recycled concrete and glass scrap and also we combined them together and we found that uh, they can be utilized to produce industry quality concrete. So you created a new concrete product right. out of waste, out right. of th these two different products. Now I know you've come up with this new process for recycling concrete, but mm -hmm. you've really tested it quite thoroughly. Maybe you can explain that. So the way we tested is, uh, for example, when we replace natural aggregate with recycled concrete, that we call it first generation concrete, that concrete structure will again pass its service life and we want to see whether we can again utilize it and when it's be, it will be demolished, we can utilize the aggregate again. We tested first generation, second generation, third generation that way. Under various environmental exposure, we tested its strength and it, it was remarkably found that the, the first generation with 100% replacement could perform the same way as uh, regular concrete. Uh, and even the second generation, uh, the strength-wise and performance-wise, it was very good. It can be utilized. But the third, third generation, there was a little bit of problem in terms of uh, strength to achieve the target strength within the days. But eventually, after 120 days, we found that it could surpass the target strength way beyond. Wow. And the performance under various environmental exposure, it was also very good. Wow. So this is like concrete that just keeps on going. Exactly. Keeps on going and, yes. and it's been tested up to three generations. So you found that worked. It was tested in the lab here, right. which is awesome with some mm -hmm. of your uh, students? Yes, some campus. of my students, um, graduate students, undergrad students, they were highly instrumental because that involves huge amount of work. Mm -hmm. So without their effort, it's, it was simply impossible. Also through our research, we wanted to make sure like it doesn't, we just publish research paper and it stays there. Right. We wanted to see it really being uh, implemented by industries. So we talked to uh, some local ready mix companies. So OK Builder Supplies Limited, they were uh, very much interested. OK in Building Supplies, right? Yeah, OK Builder Supplies. So they really wanted to bring a green product into the market. We have to test because industry, uh, there's always a fear to bring a new product. They wanted to make sure like its strength is adequate, 
it can hold up under various environmental exposure. You know, in Canada, we have freeze-thaw cycles. We use lots of salt. That actually increases corrosion. It's a chloride environment, increases the corrosion right. of rebar inside. And also in several parts of uh, BC, we have sulfur in soil. So it had to uh, go through withstand some sulfur that. exposure. And it did? That was yes. the good news? Yeah, so it, it was able to withstand uh, all these various environmental exposure and uh, industry people were really satisfied with the performance. Eventually it was brought after three and a half years, four years research, they finally agreed to bring it to the market. So the first application was in June 2013. And that was in a house? And that a house was in being a built for the foundation. House for foundation and uh, structural wall. Great. So the industry's um, interested, which is great news. It's always right. fabulous to hear that when yes. UBC researchers are mm -hmm. doing something, mm -hmm. it's actually looked at as, as something that's good for the environment exactly. and good in the community. Shaharia, thank you so much for coming and talking a little bit about your research. I'm sorry we couldn't touch on it more, right. but we'll have you back and we'll find mm -hmm. out how we're doing with this recycled green concrete. Thank you for the invitation. And that wraps it up for this edition of UBC's Next Big Thing. Until next time, I'm Rosemary Jean Thompson. Mm -hmm.